So I've done my black wash now. I've done one lot of laundry. So these are the mats from the bathroom and the cloakroom. And I've also got the black um, hand towels and flannel from the cloakroom also. So I'm getting this hopefully dry today so I can put it all back in the bathroom and cloakroom. Right, um, I've emptied my airing cupboard. Now this is not brilliant, but I did actually a few years ago um, just put some sticky cheap um, tiles down from Poundland. They've been down about, I don't know, about eight years I think now. So I've emptied my airing cupboard. So what I will probably do is um, when I put it back, I'm going to review the contents and um, maybe share my um, airing cupboard, um, how I store everything, how I organize and everything. I did one of these a while back, but I'm going to do another one. Um, it's quite a big um, airing cupboard, which we've been very lucky about. So, um, when I get everything back, I want to review stuff because I have too much stuff that goes back in here anyway. And um, my organisation. So I probably will include that on this video. But I've got my time slot for British Gas to come out and service the boiler. And um, I just have to listen out for them so I don't do any hoovering or anything in case I miss them. Right, um, as it stands now, um, British Gas have actually left, so I have got my laundry to put away, and this is that collapsible basket, brilliant, so I've got all the towels from our home, and I've got jumpers and jeans from the weekend. I've already got the brown towels washed and dried from the caravan and then I've got my black stuff here and these t-shirts I'm going to put straight on coat hangers. I'm not even going to iron them. Sometimes when um, they've taken off the line and everything, um, they don't need ironing and obviously any ones with these sort of transfers, I don't know about anybody else, I do obviously. Um, on them if I'm going to inside out have this left the drill there I'll have to go and put that in the shed um, I've bought my mats in they're just finishing airing um, yeah I did wash those and hung them out the day before um, but all I did was sort of unpacking and everything yesterday so um, this is like a reset day so I'm just generally getting things done um, so yeah, and my basket's getting full there of stuff to leave. Um, so walking from the dining room, um, back hallway, I really need to do some hoovering. Um, I haven't got my little lights on, but I've got my lamp on. It's quite dark. Um, the British Gas, um, engineer has, um, come and gone. I've just got a bit of paperwork there to file away. I've just left it there. Um, I did do a reset last night, so we're not too bad. I was on my um, laptop first thing this morning. I said we was up at half five, so I did the packing up. Um, our son left about 20 past seven, I think, this morning. So, yeah, not too bad at all. Um, getting Just generally getting things done today, I think, and... Um, more of a reset day as i was saying i thought i'd come on um in front of the camera very briefly and i'm going to try not wrap it on um yeah british gas were amazing um i know sometimes they can um get a little bit of a step back um but i did have a problem with the engineer that came out today i had an an eight to one slot and they messaged obviously and um, rang um, when they're on their way. Eight o'clock, he was actually walking through the door. <laughs> I was his first um, appointment, so that was brilliant. And they did the checks on the heat and the water. No problems and no advisories, so that was great. Um, so yeah, um, very nice engineer. Um, gonk story. If anybody's been following me in these gonks, 
hubby hates them and they've sprung up around our home. Um, I've had a comment, yes, indoor gnomes. I call them gonks and that's what they are called because they haven't got the eyes or anything. Um, I have one, one in the lounge, one up here, one in the um, my cubby and as for that point, none of them touch wood none have disappeared <laughs> so yeah I don't think hubby dare but he hates gnomes and I think we have stand joke we did put one just a cheapy one on the slate and it did end up in the bin <laughs> so that's it so like I said um, it's just a fact of getting things done and because I've got um, towels and bath mats and everything I think one of the next things will be actually my airing cupboard and I'm going to see if I can get rid of anything. As you've probably seen, I've got one of my um, mats in my basket to leave at the moment. Um, I really need to get a new kitchen mat, but I want to review what I've got. Say so I'm trying to make sure when I was taking everything out and this is about putting like for like, I found this package and I thought, oh, surprise surprise it's a new item i think i purchased it beginning of the year and i put it separate it was meant to have been on top but then a blanket that we don't use very often was put on top so i i should have put it in with my cushion covers this is what i'm saying about putting like for like and it's four beautiful um cushion covers for autumn in white and like the black and white denim so i think i'm gonna swap my cushion covers around so that was a nice surprise you know I did actually forget about them <laughs> so that's been unearthed and um, maybe I can get rid of a couple of pieces hopefully um, I am finding it easier now um, as the years progress to get rid of stuff um, and just hopefully at some stage just keep what we really love what we use um so there is those occasions where you keep on keep items that you never know whether you're going to use and i do have a couple of those but there is certain items that are not used regularly but we still use them so again use the warm hot and cold method to how you store your items so that's enough because i'm not going to spend um too long rabbiting on because I really want to get on um, it's not too late what time is it um, it's about 20 to 9 now um, and I did make the beds poor Daniel as soon as his alarm went off <laughs> so, as he was using the bathroom <laughs> I was making his bed not that he probably would have got back into it but he didn't have the chance because I don't know I wanted the beds made you know I know it's it's not a hassle but when you've got someone coming into your home and luckily I did because say eight o'clock and he was the engineer was through the door so let's get on so I think I'm going to carry on with the air and cover and get that done so I can straighten up the games room and get some hoovering done um, I did a roast dinner last night and I do apologise because someone did comment about um, would I do another video on meals of the week for the family and I, I did one but very often just recently I don't know I've been just serving it up I'm thinking oh I should have videoed it um, so I will get that done um, not sure if she minds just a quick little um, you know, shout out to Jackie happy belated 25th wedding anniversary um, I was behind with my comments I do apologize but happy belated anniversary to you so I'm sitting here on the floor on the landing and um, I use these units these little stand things that I've got from B&M over a fair few years ago now and it just helps me to store things. I have a basket on top. This one normally has a um, napkin basket on there, which I'll share. I'm not sh going to share the whole process because I just want to get this done, put everything away. But this is what I do. Um, I do sort of pick things out and usually I, I can tell or know when I can get rid of something. Um, snap decision. 
um, other times, you know, I probably put light for light, like I've got a lot of sort of cream and white um, bath towels, um, bath mats, and then I've got red ones. Um, don't tend to swap them out as much because I've gone for the, like the um, foamy tight mat, especially in the bathroom near the bath. Um, but I do have like, um, I think that's a Christmas one and that's a Halloween one, but I have got a new Halloween one. So I'm going to review this one because this is years old and see what state it's in. Um, that's Christmas and these I don't use very often. I think that's a Christmas one as well. Um, but I don't tend to now pack up like my seasonal clothes. I don't always pack up seasonal um, soft furnishings like my cushions and everything, cushion covers. They just go to the bottom of the pile if that makes sense. So I'm going to review this and see if I can at least get rid of one mat. That's what I'm hoping to do. Okay, so what I've done on this thing, and this is what I do, is I've spread out all my mats. I've got my white one here, two red ones, different ones here, like the cream ones. Um, I've got um, a grey one here. Um, these two underneath I tend to use in our bedroom. And this is one of those um, very spongy ones like that one and I know I've got a black one downstairs on my area and also a black one for the cloakroom. I'm loving the black for the cloakroom um, so I'm definitely keeping those two and I'm definitely keeping the grey one but this one is really old now and so I'm going to get rid of that one because that's worn out the way and I say this is how I do it and I then decide what I'm doing like cushion cups I think I will keep the white one because that could be a replacement white or black for the cloak room so if I keep so I've got two lots of mats um, for the cloak room um, I did have a quick look at these the these three here are Christmas and I've checked them they're fine that one's Halloween it has been washed it's got a couple of stains on it so there's a possibility um, when I come to do my Halloween decor, I'll get rid of that one because I've got a new one. You know what? I'm just going to let it go, I think. Um, it has been washed. It's got a few marks. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just going to let that go. I was going to wait to Halloween, but I've decided just to let that one go um, because I've got a new one. So I'm making a decision. This is what I do. Um, I've got the two red mats here. Um, this one's a little bit more faded. Do you know what? I'm just going to keep the one now. And I'll keep that one because it's thicker as well. Um, definitely, sorry if I'm making you giddy. I'm definitely keeping the grey one. And I've got a black one also for the coat, um, for the bathroom. Although I mostly have cream. These, this is where I'm going to make it. Oh, that one's got a few marks on. You know what? I'm going to let that one go. I'm being good. But I'll keep this one because this is a replacement. Um, it's a fairly big one and thick one. Sometimes in case I want to replace, um, you know, from the grey in our bedroom to cream. So that I'll keep that one. And then these are like all the um, sort of mats I have in the bathroom. I haven't got so many pedestal and they're all actually oddments. So I'm sitting on that one. So, um, so luckily they're not kept together. Um, this one I think is nice, more textured than that one. You know what? I'm gonna let that one go and just keep that set. Um, I need to get a, maybe a grey pedestal mat or even black to go with um the for the bathroom. I don't tend to have a pedestal mat in the cloakroom because the rug is quite, um, mat is quite big. So that's quite a, a good result, um, keeping those. And so I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five of the mats. So that is a really good result. With reference to the mat situation, 
I had two of those. One I'd already put in the basket to share of items leaving our home. I've decided to get rid of the second one and the black um, foam mat that actually really is for the bathroom. It's got whatever embroidered sort of on it or punched in the material as it was usually in the caravan. It was swapped out for a cream one which we got from Pound Stretcher when we was in Cambridgeshire but I bought that one home. I've actually got that at my kitchen sink and I stood on it and I thought, oh, this is nice and springy. You know, when you're standing at the sink or something, um, especially as I tend to try not walk around bare feet because I have to be careful, be aware of my feet. I tend to wear thick socks. I've actually got my fluffy socks on at the moment. It is cooler today. So going back to the airing cupboard, yeah, I've got all my napkins here and yes, I've got a lot. They're actual really place mat type things, look. I am, I'm on the fence about these. I might just get rid of those. Um, I'm not too bothered about them. You know what, I'm just gonna get rid of them. I was umping and ahhing about them, but I'm, no, I don't like those anymore. But the napkins, I get these sort of things um, really cheaply after Christmas these, and I paid a ridiculous amount for them. I know that, and one year I got the red, Another year I got these cream ones that got like Christmas trees on. So the fact is I can store them. So I've got rid of, I think there were six there. So I got rid of those because I have got um, Christmas placemats. But they're the, um, the firmer ones. So they are actually in one of the boxes in the loft. And these are all my internal bow. I had a lot of napkins. I used to do a lot of dinner parties. And the, most of these, if not all of them, I had as wedding presents and I've got two tablecloths as well so yeah I'm not getting rid of those and I've got um, some yellow ones in fact that was actually a freebie because a friend a good friend of mine gave me those and I like to use those um, at Easter or summer um, and things like that because napkins also if I take one out to show you can also be a nice cover mat as well you don't have to use them just as napkins sometimes I've even had them on say a table or a coffee table something like that with a decoration so I need to uh, sort of try and get that back in one handed if I can I've rolled them up because it's easy to grab them now it might get a little bit noisy now because I'm opening and I'm obviously my um, tank so I do apologise. So this is how it goes. So I use baskets. This one's obviously got storage on it. And that goes up there. And then I put the second one just on top. So I've got all my napkins um, like that. That's all the bath mats I've got. Except for the black one for the cloakroom. And I have pulled out the grey one, which is down there, because as I do, you know, sort of multitask, I've sprayed the bath and I'm cleaning the bathroom at the same time. So I've got a pedestal mat and that one. I know you can get sets at the same time of both pedestal and the um, bathroom mat, which is something I might consider about. But I'm trying to keep cost down. So that is another result and a few more items. Okay, I've got another one of these units. I said that I think they were four ninety nine. They're just handy because, like, if I have to put everything out, instead of piles of stuff coming out while well, it's still coming out, I can just lift these out. And again, I have another basket on top. This is things like tablecloths and. Um, covers for that little under the shelf in the cloakroom I do have a basket here fairly big basket this is like seasonal um, furnishings like tea towels and everything so I've got um, my Halloween ones these are from TK Maxx I've got a lot of Christmas ones and as I said these sort of things I do purchase after the season so things you know, a reasonable, do excuse the step on nails, I've got to redo them. And like things like this, and I was so happy to get the ones with the red truck. I think these will come from Home Bargains. So, um, 
at this stage i know it's probably bad i am not gonna actually thin this down um because after each season if um they're not worth keeping then i get rid of them it's mostly oven gloves that i tend to replace but i don't think they're too bad and as i said i've only got the couple i tried to um to, in tk max when we was in warwickshire because this is where i got them from about five or six years ago now and um they hadn't got any halloween tea towels so i was a bit disappointed whether they've got them now i don't know so that will go back just the same i'm not even bothered to thin that out at the moment tell a lie i did find another mat there's a question mark i've laid that out i did pay quite a lot for it and it's pink and um it doesn't really go with anything very often i have it in the kitchen or have in the past but i haven't used it for 12 months so in theory it should be going i've just laid it out there at the moment i'm going to just go concentrate on these sort of things so um i've got this cloth here that i haven't used in every year so that that's definitely going to go i'm going to keep these felt mats these are all um christmas because i have these um a lot of the time in our bedroom um so i've just got to go through a lot of this and i've got a lot of runners from the dining room table as well so i've got it in red and then i have got um a long one i think it is this one yeah um with hearts on sometimes i again i have that in the on the unit in our bedroom and i've got these felt ones so i'm going to keep all those that's a halloween um little cloth um, what I did was, um, you know, I've got um, the the cover for the shelf in the cloakroom. Sometimes I actually hook that over the material um, just to make it a little bit more Halloween in there. So I have got a black runner and I've got a black tablecloth. Funny enough, this is a silk sheet and i got it in the sale years ago and um it was cheaper than buying a um proper tablecloth and it washes up really well never used it on the bed i specifically bought it for the table especially when i extend it that extra bit that's in the middle i need a bigger tablecloth and then i got this one no, I think actually I purchased this possibly because it doesn't look as though it's been used. I think this came from a car boot. And then I've got a um, stripy. A lot of these, this set, I got from um, Poundland and paid like 50p for it. And these, I remember, I've got one in red and one in black. And I think I only paid something like 29p for them from, I think it was from the range. Now, here I've got a cream shower curtain. I'm going to just put that aside because I might get rid of that. These are definitely keeps because that's my internal bow. They are creased because I tend to iron tablecloths um, before I actually put them on the um, table due to the fact that they obviously get creased because I don't use them very often. These Coca-Cola ones, um, say we don't tend to drink Coca-Cola now, it's mostly um, Pepsi Max, but I, I've got one place in because I paid quite a lot for them. I think they came from, I'd like to say Walmart when we was in America. This is going back, I think, to about 1919. 19. Yeah, I think it was 1993 I bought, bought them. So I've got that and I've got the runner. And they were sort of also a um, sort of keepsake as well. So at the moment, I am going to keep those. Um, and then that's the second one. I might actually get rid of one of those runners. And that is a laundry bag. This is another, um, you know, shelf cover for the cloakroom. I'll probably keep that one. Now, I haven't used this in two, possibly three years. This is a red tablecloth. If I'm going to use a tablecloth, I'm going to either use my internal bow or my black. And I used to use this at Christmas, but 
you know what I'm gonna just let that go because I haven't used it in so many years I've got my stomach's rumbling I'm gonna have to have something to eat in a minute so um yeah this one I love and I use that at springtime and this one was actually from my grandmother um, and it's an embroidery one and this actually fits lovely on my table when it's extended although I don't use it very often it's keepsake also but I do use it so I'm going to keep that very often I use especially when the kids were little I actually used to always keep um, my sort of heat resistant large mat on the table and a tablecloth all the time but now especially this wooden table and obviously my kids are adults now so it's nice to um see the table so i got rid of one tablecloth and a um sort of cloth for a coffee table um there's a question mark on a few items but at the moment i think i'm going to just put these back for now i didn't think i'd get rid of anything in this category so i'm really pleased with that so this is how I store those two little um, units and the baskets and all my tablecloths are there. I've had this set up now for over five years and it's worked out really well. Um, what I tend to find that works for myself, it might not work for everybody else. Sometimes you can make split decisions what you want, wish to get rid of. Other times you think like I put things aside Sometimes if I find out I've got quite a lot of decisions to make and it's getting to the end of the process and it looks really nice what you've done, rather than clutter up, I don't always, try not to anyway, put everything back that I haven't made decisions on. But normally I get to the end of the process and decide, no, I'm just going to get rid of it. Obviously, if I'm undecided at that point, it goes. So I've still got my pink mat, which is there. So that is um, a decision I've got to make. And also the shower curtain. So I'm going to leave those there for the time being. So I've been going through my flannels. Most of these are all new ones. I get these from Wilco's, it's a two pack. But also, um, not just that I use them, but also I like to do um, my reindeer um, Christmas um, pieces with them, um, which you can see uh, previously on one of my other videos. Um, I've got some maroon ones here. A lot of these are new ones, as you can see. Again, I bought these. Um, 50 pence each off of um, Primark um, as I said I keep buying things um, you know after the season um, so they're all new ones but they need to be washed before I use them this year I did actually get rid of a lot of the maroon ones plain ones so I could do with another couple of maroon um, what I call because I like those colours in our bathroom um, same as the green ones, I've got rid of a lot. Um, this one's quite old now, so I am letting that one go because I have got some new green ones here. So I'm going to keep those, they're all new. And then the black ones, um, I've got one that's wearing a little bit thin, it's got a hole in, so I'm going to let that one go. And then I've got these two, and I've got one. I've just taken down um, for the cloakroom ready to be used so that is all um, the flannels sorted the dark brown chocolatey coloured ones um, that's flannels hand towels bath towels or bath sheets they're all ones kept separate and I use those in the caravan so that's those so next I've got some two lots of oven gloves here um, I have got a pair that I'm using at the moment. Um, this one's more faded, but this seems thicker. This one's quite thin, although it's darker. So I'm just gonna let that one go and keep that one. I have got one pair that I'm using at the moment. So I'm gonna keep those there. Then I've got hand towels. So I'm gonna go through those next. Um, sorry if I'm making you giddy. 
um, it's just the fact that um, if I put it on a stand, um, it's a bit awkward to get close up and I have to keep moving the, the um, stand and everything. So there is a towel. <laughs> I mean, it's got three quid on there, but I remember when it went through um, the cashier, it was only like a pound. So that goes with all the um, towels. But because it's just a bath towel, I use that more as a hand towel, if that makes sense. Um, I've got this one. I'm going to put that on the side at the moment because I'm not sure I'm going to keep that one. And I've got this one. I do like, say, a couple of hand towels. I keep this one um, for our granddaughter. That's pink. Then I've got some spare black ones. I will keep those. I don't have many hand towels, but saying that I have um, three sort of in the cloak room, two black and one cream. I usually have the cream one for guests. This sort of colour. Um, I really need to get a um, another hand towel in the dark green. I call it forest green. I'll keep that one. And the beige one I will use as well. Um, this one, you know what? I think I'm going to just let that one go. So I um, got rid of one hand towel. And possibly I will end up getting rid of more at some point. And I've got rid of a few flannels. I think there might already be some in the basket already to get rid of. And I've got one set of oven gloves. That's something else I'll probably put on my wish list. Um, up here is spare tea towels. I do keep some, sorry for the glare. I do keep some in the kitchen that I'm using. But these are ones that have not been used. And then I've got some drying mats underneath which um, I might actually get rid of. I got rid of a couple previously, so um, they may need replacing. This is actually a wine rack. I got this brand new from the charity shop, but I rolled the bath sheets and put them on there, and any swimming towels. And just behind there is a, just a bag of pieces that I've kept from when um, boys were babies and things like that, um, which really, truly should be in the memory box. Okay, I've now finished sorting the airing cupboard out and it's all um, finished and reviewed and everything. So behind this um, fluffy pink um, cushion, I do have all my Christmas um, cushions and everything at the back there in a box. Um, cushion covers for the different seasons are in here. I've got all my drying mats here. I've pulled out the three new um, tea towels I'm gonna to use and I'm gonna put those in the drawer downstairs to be used. I say hand towels, spare oven gloves, um, bath sheets, swimming towels, flannels, I've already explained. These are all my cloths, spare cloths. I do keep a pile in the um, cupboard under the sink. On top of um, all the sort of seasonal furniture, soft furnishings, I have a our um, granddaughter's um, Disney quilt cover and pillowcase. Again, napkins there. The rest of the um, mats there, and like I explained, my um, runners and my um, tablecloths are there. So that is all complete. I'm really pleased with another job well done. So I've dusted, cleaned and hoovered the bathroom and we've got clean mats down and towels and flannels and everything. So I'm glad I've got this all done in between um, sorting the airing cupboard out. So um, as I said, job well done and um, quite happy with what I've actually accomplished today. Okay, so I've changed some cushion covers around our home. So these are the black and white sort of range that I got from Amazon, I say. I think it was the beginning of the year. So I put that one on there. And then over here, I've got this one. It's full yarn. And then I've put two on our son's bed. So these are the two that I've actually put on our son's bed, pumpkin and the truck with the pumpkins, pumpkin patch. 
so I'm quite happy with these um, cushion covers. I've just got um, some laundry to put away that's on his bed and I've got a few pieces left of laundry to put in away in our room as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.